In today's video, we'll be talking about how to install the Lulu Direct app onto a Shopify website. This app is a print on demand publishing tool that will allow your customers to purchase your book, planner, or journal from your website, which means that when an order is placed, it is automatically processed, printed, and shipped from Lulu. Before we get started, we won't be covering how to create a Shopify website in this video. We'll only be focusing on how to install the Lulu Direct app onto an existing Shopify website. So we'll start off by installing the Lulu Direct app into a Shopify website. And we'll be doing this on a mock website that I just created within Shopify specifically for this tutorial. As you can see, we're on the home page, which is the default when you first open up your Shopify site. And we're going to navigate to apps. Then we're going to select customize your store. And in this search bar is where we're going to enter in Lulu Direct. As you can see, a lot of options populated. In this case, we're looking for this app, Lulu Direct. Our next step is to select this button, add app. And you're taken to this page, which is just a notification before you install the app that Lulu Direct will be connected to your Shopify store and have access to basic information pertaining to orders that are being uh, fulfilled through Lulu. So when someone goes onto your website, they place an order for a journal, for example, and Lulu is handling the print on demand, they'll have access to that customer's information and some of your information in order to fulfill the order that was placed. I'm going to click install app. All right, now let's register for our Lulu account. This is where you'll enter your information once your information is entered, you'll agree to the terms and conditions by selecting this box. If you want to receive emails and newsletters from Lulu, you can select this box as well, but it's not required in order to register. Since I already have an account with Lulu, I'm going to select login. But in your case, if you're new to Lulu, you would select register. Once your registration is complete, then when you're back on your Shopify website and you select your Lulu direct app, this is the main page you'll see from here on out. And from here, you can navigate to your orders and a pricing calculator. You can see your books that you have listed and then more options. At this point, I know that I want to create a product listing, which is going to link to Lulu. So I'm going to head over to products. And from here, I'm going to select this option here, which is to create a listing for my own product. And then from here, I'm going to enter in some basic information. The title, in this case, I'll be creating a journal. So the title for the journal, the description, the images that I have for the listing, pricing, and so on. Once you've added your basic information and selected the status for your product to active, and you'll select more actions and connect with Lulu Direct. The book designer is going to populate and it's recognized my product listing. And now I need to basically create the book. You'll go through and select your preferences. So in this case, I'm creating a book. I've uploaded my, in, the interior pages. It's a PDF. I select black and white standard for the type of paper. It's white and uncoded, which is just what I've chosen, but you can see there's other options here. And for the binding, whichever one you click on will provide information, basic information about what type of binding it is. 
In this case, I'm selecting paperback, perfect bound. I prefer a glossy finish. And then if you're looking for guidance on cover specifications in terms of what the dimensions need to be, you can download this cover template and it will help guide you. In this case, I already have a pre-created cover and that's been uploaded. It was a PDF. So you're going to want to use the PDF for everything here. It won't take PNGs or JPEGs. And then once all of this is complete, it will give you this option to review your project and you can click show live preview and it will tell you what the cover looks like and what the interior looks like. Now, this is a mock. This is not something I actually provide on my website. It's just to demonstrate the process of creating a book. Now you can see we're back at our Lulu Direct page. And it's showing the books that are connected, which of course is the one that was just created. It is a mock-up. Um, if you select here, you can see the details for your book. It's a summary. And if you, this is the mock listing price that I put in my product listing. And this is the estimated um, manufacturing cost for this mock book. And that would be the total revenue. As you see up here, they do mention that they provide a book creation guide, which will answer some basic questions about creating a book. I already have it ready to go here to show you. So table of contents, it talks about formatting, also your cover layout, things to consider, submitting your file, and proofing. All right, one of our next steps is to set up shipping. So before we do that, I want I do want you to see that the product listing we created and the Lulu book that we created are set up and are synced with the website. So in order to show you that, I'm going to select online store. These drop downs populate. Themes is the one that we're on right now, which is great. We're going to hit customize. And that opens up the back end of the website, our Shopify website, where we make decisions like which photos to display. We change the text on our website. We can adjust the navigation here by moving things around. There's a lot of editing that we can do on the back end. But in this particular case, uh, what I'm going to point to is this featured collection. Our product automatically populated there. So that looks great. And then if we want to just see it um, on the public facing website, we would select the three ellipses here up in the uh, left hand corner, and then select view. And this is what we would see the home page for our website. This mock website looks like this. And then if we select the product, this is that product page. Okay, so this is not a final version by any stretch of the imagination, but you can see creating a product listing and creating our Lulu book. It's functioning to a point, but we still have more steps to go. To set up shipping, we're going to select more actions, go to settings until you see manage shipping options. Select connect to Lulu's live shipping rates. And then this notice comes up that says that my subscription does not support live shipping rates. This might be a notice that you'll see too is saying in order to resolve this issue, you need to contact Shopify support and ask them to add it to your subscription. For more information, you can check out the Shopify help article. And this is that Shopify help article in the first paragraph here goes into a little bit more detailed, but basically what they're saying is if you have um, that the third party carrier calculated shipping rates, that feature is included in their more premium Shopify plans. And if you have the basic Shopify plan, the $29 a month, 
You can call her support. And if you're willing to pay annually rather than monthly, they can add on this feature for free as opposed to continuing to pay for your basic monthly plan fee of $29 a month, um, plus paying an additional fee to have this added on. That is more expensive than if you were to just pay annually the $29 times 12 months, pay it once annually, and then you get this feature added on for free. That's that's something to know about Shopify is it's not completely upfront about what fees you're going to run into along the way. And when you're thinking about using Shopify and incorporating the Lulu Direct app, you'll want to know that, yes, the app is free to use, but to get shipping set up, there can be some costs that go along with that. Now, there is a way for you to set up shipping. It doesn't require you to use Lulu's carrier rates. And I'm going to link to a video that Lulu created that covers how to set up shipping an alternative way. It doesn't have some of the same advantages that I'll be showing you today in this video with this method, but it's important for you to know that there is an alternative option that doesn't come with these extra fees. So our next step is to set up shipping. So I've moved over to my Harley Bird Design website. I'm on the back end looking at my admin page. I'm on the home page right now. I'm going to going to navigate down to settings. Okay, we're on the settings page now. And your next step is to set up locations where your products are shipped from. My products are shipped from three different places. So I have three different locations set up, including Lulu. So you can see what it looks like to fill out information for a location. I'm going to select add location. Here you'll enter the location name. It's just an identifier. And then you'll put in the information for your address and a phone number and select save. So it's pretty simple to set up a location. It's something that you'll need to do in general for your shipping uh, especially if you're shipping products that are not Lulu. Now we'll navigate over to shipping and delivery. This page, the first thing we want to do is to create a new profile. We'll label this profile. In this particular case, I'm going to call this Lulu Journals. And I'm going to add a product. These are all products that have been created and are available on my store. I'm going to select this journal. Next, we need to create a shipping zone. And this one is going to be for the United States, which is where I am located. This is the label for this shipping zone. And here I'm going to search for the United States. And you'll notice that it lists 62 states. This is because all areas of the US are included in this, including Samoa. And if you scroll through, you can see other areas as well. If you're only shipping to the continental US, then you'll need to de deselect these. The next thing to do is to add a shipping rate so I'll select add rate. And because my Lulu carrier is already set up, I can select use carrier or app to calculate rates and Lulu shipping rates will populate. Now down here on the lower half of this section, you can add in a percentage for shipping and handling. That's to account for your labor costs and other costs for your products. And in this case, I'm not filling this out, but if you were to say maybe 10% of the product price, it would calculate that out and add it into the shipping cost discreetly. 
So the customer would see just one shipping cost and that would be the actual shipping cost plus whatever percentage you've added in here, all lumped together. The same thing for entering in a flat amount. It would be combined with the shipping costs and the customer wouldn't know that it was included. This is to account for any costs that you have associated with shipping your products. It's just important to know, especially when it comes to products that you will be processing and shipping out. But in this particular case, Lulu is processing all of the products here. So I'm going to leave this the way it is and select done. Okay, we're all done here. But before we move on, I want to point out that you'll see where it says here shipping from, and it's got a couple of different locations. All of the locations that I've set up are populated here. And that's okay. Don't delete these. That's something I did when I first set up my shipping was to delete these from the profile, thinking that I should only have the Lulu location um, on this profile because it was for Lulu products and it created a shipping error. So if you are running into a shipping error, that could be why. So our shipping profile is set up. Now we're going to go test it out. I'm going to my website. I'm going to scroll down and select the item that I added to that shipping profile, which is this one. I'm going to add it to cart. I can see that it's been added to cart with this message here. So I'm going to go to my cart and go to checkout. My information is already pre-populated in here, and you can see that the shipping for Lulu, their rates populated right away. So that's working. So if I was placing an order, I would choose the delivery method, then select continue to payment and check out. So this is working. I'm not a Shopify shipping expert, so I can only show you how to set up shipping using Lulu's calculated shipping rates. For an alternative way of setting up shipping, check out the video description below. There's a link to Lulu's introductory shipping video, and this covers an alternative method for setting up shipping. There's also links to Shopify expert videos that were created to walk you through how to set up a Shopify website, as well as how to set up shipping for drop shippers and private suppliers, and even how to resolve some common errors that may show up while you're setting up shipping. If there is a Lulu or KDP topic that you would like covered in a future video, please share that in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching.